Unfest 2014 is a few things different this year. Uh, not only do we have the auction, which is the first time the rum auctions ever happened, that's with Christie's, where you'll be able to get some expensive rum for a good price and raise money for charity, Water Aid. We also have a golden top system, so this is some rums that are under the counter. Um, if you want to try a rum that's like worth 100 pounds, 150 pounds, 200 pounds a bottle, you can just buy a golden top and you can exchange that for a nice tot of quality rum. But also we've gone back to the old system where you pay your one entry price, you go around, you can sample rums in a responsible way. Um, and again, what we're looking for is connoisseurs, rum lovers, people that really enjoy the spirits. But rum is fun, we have a little bit of music at the end, our happy hour, we've got the dancing girls from Brazil and Cuba, really getting into the whole vibe of what rum is. And rum is more than a spirit, it's a lifestyle. So make sure you come down here. In fact, if you're not here already, you should have been here two days, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, well, no, just 11th and 12th, but it should be every day. Rum fest. All that without a rum. Let's get in and sip and savor. about Rumfest by Facebook. Uh, we blog about rum, uh, rumhatten.dk, uh, Danish rum blog. And uh, I got in touch with Ian um, over Facebook and yeah, we just had to go. Well, we went to Cotton's in Camden and we noticed that on the Rum Festival last year we just missed out. So we made sure that this is this year we can't miss out. So this is why we're here. So It's definitely expanded. When it started, we seen Victoria in a very small hall. And the first couple of years, not many people knew about it. As the word got around, it became too big for the hall and moved on, which was a lot better because you could actually drink more of what we were coming to get. We've been here for six years now and we've enjoyed lots of runs, but it's been a bit of a roller coaster ride over the last six years for this. And uh, I think it's been a bit of an evolutionary process and uh, it's still progressing and every year something different comes along. Over the years I think this year is probably one of the best years mainly because um, they've really concentrated on getting the quality up. Here is more for sophistication um, people that want to drink elite rums and enjoy that atmosphere. Definitely the experience of tasting some new rums that we haven't had before. Uh, what have I learned about rum? Um, well, you know, I've learned, I've learned to like it for a start. But um, Don, you've shown me bit by bit how to savour the rum. When it hits the, the tongue, the palate, vanillas, cinnamons, all the aromas just hit, wafting up. I mean, it is, it's, it's just so much more than a drink for me. Uh, just the variety and they're all like... Obviously, you know different rums taste differently, but like, there has been a real big difference in some of the tastes, haven't there? Learned a lot. There's um, a brilliant stand over there teaching me more about white rum, which I never realised you could actually drink on its own. Well, we did the El Dorado uh, rum experience piece, uh, and the, the depth of knowledge that we were being educated on there, it's, it's great. Oh, absolutely. I mean, in terms of preparing rum, it's a very technical process, so we're learning about aging different barrels, the length of the age of a rum. Even me as a rum drinker all my life, I never appreciated how many different types, flavours and um, types of rum there were. Oh, this is fantastic. You've got lots of people here who clearly know what they're talking about, but it's also quite a, a low-key laid-back feel as well. It's, um, it's, it's a proper festival. It's, it's very very good atmosphere here. Well, I feel like a bit of an imposter because I'm not any kind of expert because you've got so many experts at the rum fest so many people have found knowledge so anything i say is what i've picked up so don't blame me blame rum fest <laughs> Um, for today, it's definitely uh, to go try the El Dorado 25 Vintage. I must admit, though, I really do like the, the ones that are mixed with something because I'm, I'm getting used to drinking rums now. Butters, just, just butters, butters rum. Tiki fire. Yeah. That will blow your mind. If you try that, it's fantastic. Um, I'd say my favourite is the dark rum, the, the award-winning one. Um, I like the idea of smoking with a cigar. I, I really want to come here to try the Mount Gay rum. 
Uh, usually I like spiced rum with uh, ginger ale, mostly. But right before that, we tried St. Nicholas Abbey, uh, the black barrel out of Mount Gay. I've had five shots of 84%. I'm not drunk or anything, but Whatever. I'm just being nice very not. proud of myself of having 84%. Well, there are so many fantastic rums, incredible flavours. Like we've learned today about El Dorado, Demerara sugar, really sweet and nice. Uh, we looked at the Grand Anecco, which banana was lovely. Rum. The banana, banana rum is amazing. Banana, we've got a big banana rum fan here with the ginger. Well, first of all, I love El Dorado. Uh, the 1501, that was so nice, smooth, and got a complex taste as well. I like the Don Papa, it's an excellent rum, lovely, soft to drink, I love, and the Diplomatic, one of my best. I also like the Havana as well, that's really good. Uh, the Venezuelan, uh, El, El Diplomatico, uh, fantastic. But one that was a little bit different was the rum punch as well. I thought it was really refreshing, really good to have something that's not as strong, but still quite refreshing and traditionally quite Caribbean as well. Really enjoyed it. Me personally, I just love that so many people can come together and just have fun and just try something new. Because like, there's some rums I've never had before. I didn't even know I liked rum. We, we're very impressed with what we see here. It's a great selection of rums from all the, all the various parts of the Caribbean. I'd recommend it to anybody. Mm -hmm.